number two. Yep. I have x squared minus y cubed equals zero. Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. What's the derivative of x squared? Two x. Two x. What's the derivative of y cubed? Three y y. Three y. No. Tell me the derivative of y cubed. Three y. Three y squared. Yeah. Did I take the derivative of y? Yeah. So I put a y prime. So I have three y squared y prime. Okay. Zero. Okay. And now I can plug in x and y. Okay, so you only consider x to be one that's just x. You're just taking the derivative of an x. So well, here's the point. Here's the one, one no, no, point. I know, but but when would you really only do that in a uh, uh, product rule or a quotient rule? No. 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 So I get a number. What is my number? One one, one right? Yes. When I plug in here, I have two. Mm -hmm. When I plug in here, I have three y prime. Okay. Now I solve for y prime. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Who else has a question? Okay. So what 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 difference is it when you have x y? That's a product, and you do the product rule. Okay. So for the first one, we have to do a product, right? Right. So see, I did some weird stuff. Okay. Why. So when I have this. And I want to find the derivative. Mm -hmm. Is it a product? Mm -hmm. And the product rule is first, mm -hmm. which is what? X. Times the derivative of the second. Y plus the second, which is? Y. Times the derivative of the first. Y. Equals zero. zero. Okay. And now you uh, plug X and Y in? Negative four and negative and solve for y prime. What's going on here on number three? Number what? Well, on number three, isn't that x to the one half plus y to the one half equals nine? What's the derivative of x to the one half? Well, I haven't taken the derivative yet. What's the derivative of x to the one half? One half x to the negative one half plus <laughs> equals zero. Then you plug your numbers in. Does that make more sense? On six, but uh, uh -huh. the derivative of that be? Number six, the derivative of the first one is 3x plus y squared times 1 plus y prime. Wait, which one was that? I'm sorry, I missed that. Six. It was six. You ask, and sometimes I don't know what number it was. Wait, hold on. Why is that? Y prime. Now, do you need the other side? I no, the other side of six. Uh, no. You're okay with it? Yes. Okay. Oh, I need All right, anybody else? Okay, because I've asked about number 12. Have you worked 12 yet? No. I don't even have an answer for 12 on my paper. We should, probably do it. we should probably do it. Goodness. Why not? What it tells me is that I've done it for people every year, and so I've never needed the answer to write their paper, is what that tells me. Oh, good. Okay.
Talk me through it or do it. No, you can't do it. You can't put your hands on my stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is the derivative of tangent? Uh, secant squared. No, secant squared. Secant squared? Yeah. So the derivative of this is secant squared x plus y times 1 plus y prime. Y prime. Equals y prime. Yeah. Do you all agree? Yeah. I need to get rid of this parentheses. Yes. Yeah, so I take 1 times secant squared x plus y, and then y prime times secant squared x plus y equals y prime. Right? Yeah. Now I'm going to get y prime's on the left, everything else on the right. I'm not multiplying by anything. Y prime secant squared x plus y minus y prime equals secant squared x plus y. Right? Factor out a y prime, and I have secant squared minus I, I, one. I have a question. Shouldn't the, the secant squared be negative on the other side? Yeah. Yes, it should. Okay. Oh, okay. This one should be negative because I moved this over there. So what is y prime equal to? Uh, negative secant squared x plus y over secant squared x plus y minus y. I don't have an X and a Y. Guys, I know that your masks are bothering you, but they've got to be over your nose. You breathe out your nose as well as your mouth. What I wish we didn't have one. I factored a y prime out here, and I took it out of here and left with this. I took it out of here and left with that with one. Why wouldn't that just completely factor? Why? Because it's negative. Because it's negative. Because it's negative. Because it's negative. Because y prime divided by y prime is one. It's not zero. All right, we good with that one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Can we do uh, 9 through 14? No, but I've been asked also for 13. Yeah, that's helpful. You all are writing this down, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not doing this for my health? No. Good. That just kind of helps you put brain towards them. It is. Because it makes you think. What am I trying to find on this one? Second derivative. Second derivative. Second derivative. What it says. All right. You do the first derivative. See if you can get it. I'm going to pause just a minute and see if you can do the first derivative. And I want it simplified. Alright, the derivative of this is 1 minus
minus the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Why is that one minus one? Uh, oh, it should be zero. You yeah. are correct. Yeah. This should be a zero. Okay, cool, cool. My fault. Same I was worried about the product rule and didn't pay attention to so that. So it turns into a product? It is a product. X, Y is a product. So did you get this? Yeah. Yep. Was that the first one? What happened to the derivative of X being one? It was right here. First times the derivative of the second. Second times the derivative of the first. Okay. What do I do next? Y prime's on the left. That's what I do. Okay? Did you do that? Negative x y prime plus y prime equals one plus y. Nope, one plus y. Y prime is 1 plus Y over 1 minus X. That's what I got, except for I didn't get a plus Y. Yeah, I got that, except I didn't. Okay. okay. Well, I did. Now what am I supposed to do? And now it's a quotient. Which is the second derivative is the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. Is that right? Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do I have 1 minus x times y prime, which is this? Mm. Plus 1 plus y all over. 1 minus x squared. Well, we plugged in y prime in the case. We did. We plugged in y prime. So, wait a minute. So we can cancel those two things out. Is it okay if I plug that in next? Yeah. Like, like, are you going to distribute that? No, I'm going to cancel this. And I have 2 plus 2y over 1 minus x squared. Right? That's my answer? Yeah. All right. You all have a worksheet. Page in the book.